My name is Don Keel. I flew down today from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. It took us all about 10 minutes to get here. What you're looking at in the background is a C-45H. It was used during World War II as a military trainer. It was actually an AT-11 at that time. And they used it as a bombardier trainer. Then in 1954, they remanufactured the aircraft and to the present state, which is a C-45H, and it was used as a military transport. Uh, it flies along about 160 miles an hour, it burns a lot of gas, 50 gallons an hour, and it's quite a handful. It's a tail dragger, not everybody can handle these airplanes, but I flew Beach 18s in the old days flying airmail, and I've always wanted a Beach 18, so I bought this aircraft. I bought it in September, flew it back from Colorado, brought it back to Manitowoc, and then I spent all winter now redoing a lot of things, such as the nose art that you see in the background here. Uh, the stickers, U.S. Air Force, the captain and co-pilot stickers, new decal on the upper left wing. I manufactured all new windows for the cabin, so a lot of work, but uh, my pride and joy, I'll tell you that. So you got any more questions for me there, Steve? No. That's about it. All right, well, nice meeting you guys. Glad to come to Sheboygan, and I hope everybody enjoys their day here. Hey, hey, welcome. Uh, I'm Paul Walter from Milwaukee, Wisconsin up here in a beautiful day in Sheboygan at the airport. And what's behind me here is a North American T-28 Trojan. Uh, it's a very unique plane in the fact that after World War II, uh, the America realized what the jet age, they had, re had gone into the jet age and all the fighter jets had nose wheels. So they had to develop a trainer with a nose wheel. So they asked North American to design a plane uh, with a nose wheel, which is, of course, you can see in the front, and to use a B-17 motor, because they had a lot of used B-17s after World War II. So the result was this, the North American T-28 Trojan. This particular version is called the C model that has a tail hook where it can land on aircraft carriers. With this, uh, most of them were built from 1949, and they were used by the military up through 1990s, so over 40 years. This one has a 1,425 horsepower motor. It burns about 55 gallons of high octane fuel uh, per hour, and it burns about a gallon of oil per hour. This particular one, the CIA took over to Zaire, or at that time it was a Belgium Congo, to fight the communist rebels, and it was brought back and restored. I'm a member of a six ship here, and uh, we'll be appearing uh, the weekend before Oshkosh, I think that's uh, July 23rd and 24th and 25th, and there'll be about 30 of these out on the field flying around. So if you get a chance, come on out uh, that weekend, uh, I think it's July 24th, the weekend before the Oshkosh fly-in, and we'll be doing formation and aerobatic training and, and getting our air show routine spruced up. That's about all. It's a heck of a lot of fun to fly one of these. It's great to come out. Uh, we fly them to honor our veterans, and uh, especially the Vietnam veterans of which this plane was used in. Hi, my name's John, and I'm uh, Executive Director of the Aviation Heritage Center of Wisconsin, and you just heard Paul Walter, a T-28 pilot, tell you all about this magnificent aircraft. I'd like to invite everybody to come to the Aviation Heritage Center of Wisconsin at the Sheboygan County Airport from July 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th. Over 30 of these magnificent aircraft will be here at the airport along with their pilots preparing for their big migration up to Air Venture in Oshkosh. Now why should you come out to the Aviation Heritage Center during that four-day period? You should come because it's a very, very rare opportunity to do two things. Number one, see and speak with T-28 pilots up close and personal. And number two, actually get a close-up look with a special ramp pass of T-28 aircrafts and see them fly and prepare for their Oshkosh formation flying routine. Hopefully it'll be beautiful weather, we'll have refreshments, a unique opportunity to get a personal aviation experience. Oshkosh is wonderful, but here you can actually talk with the pilots, meet them, and mingle. So come on out July 26th through the 29th, Aviation Heritage Center of Wisconsin, Sheboygan County Airport.
Hi, I'm Craig Ladwig, um, owner of the uh, pulling tractor you see behind you. Uh, we're from Cascade, Wisconsin, and uh, we pull a tractor called Never Giving Up. It's a component pro stock, uh, roughly about 3,000 horsepower, pull all over the Midwest. Um, kind of a family uh, friendly uh, sport. Uh, love what we do and uh, have a great time doing it. So. Um, there you have it, never given up.